Alright everyone, my name is Victor 9 and welcome back to Death Stranding. In the last session we basically started connecting bridges with the Cupid that we have. Um, we, I think we cooked, like, covered a distribution center. And as you can see on the map right there, we pretty much got two little connections going on there. And I think in this session we will be going to a wind farm for power and connecting that. But before we get there, might as well drink some mother. This isn't mother, this is monster. <laughs> Gotta drink some monster energy so we can get that stamina going up. There we go. Let's boost it again. Because we definitely need this stamina. How many of... ...of these monster energies do we have? Alright, let's one more. We are running low, so... Ah, oh, damn. Alright, let's leave. Connect him to the other side again. Let's see what happens this time. you can do if your BB starts showing signs of distress. Such as? Such as take a moment to look after it. Cradle the pot, gently rock it, that sort of thing. Okay. Out of curiosity, how's it doing at the moment? Uh, before I answer that... Something wrong? When I hook up my BB, I see things. What kind of things? Like a face, someone I don't know, calling to me. There's this room, too. With other people talking, but I can't make out the words. Mm, lead through effect. Didn't I warn you about this? You're mistaking the BB's memories for your own. They're false flashbacks, nothing more. Let me explain. A BB is harvested from its steel mother at around 28 weeks and placed in a pod. To be clear, this is before it's even born. The procedure halts its development. But even at 28 weeks, its sensory systems have matured enough to process external stimuli. It is more than capable of encoding this information into memories, which can bleed into yours via your connection. Oh, okay. So who's the man I saw? Someone from the medical team, maybe? Or a BB technician? Does it matter? The BB has been in circulation for a while now. It's been handled by a lot of people. How should I know which one made an impression? Because you're the expert. No one's an expert, Sam. BBs were developed decades ago in secret. They're your quintessential black boxes. We may use them, but we don't truly understand them. Believe me, I've been trying to learn more, but almost all of the old records are gone. If I find anything out, I'll tell you, all right? Dead man's honor. Clear. All That's good. Will remain locked until departure. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. So now we can soothe BB back and forth, which will stop him from crying and reduce stress levels. Gently rocking the controller up and down will increase the effect. Alright, let's activate the terminal so we can get something. While you're resting, I ran 
defense and network diagnostics. Corellium monitoring and holographic systems are nominal. Unfortunately, our printer is offline. I know, I know, after all the trouble you went through to bring us those materials. This one's on us. We ordered a part a while back, but it never arrived. The printer needs it to communicate with the chiral network. Mules must have snatched it, caught that porter en route or something. If I'm right, they'll have taken it to their drop site, which is smack dab in the middle of their territory. Don't suppose you'd be up for stealing us our property back? Can't think of anyone more qualified than you. Cool. Okay. Now we aren't able to fabricate, or because we need to take an order. Recover chiral printer interface. And then you got the chiral crystals. Okay. up both orders. Mama's added a watchtower schematic to your PCC. If you don't have it on you, consider fabricating one. You never know when you'll need to recon an area. Okay. Just put on the tool rack. We got a lot on us. Do we need these metals? I don't feel like we need them. These are our currently equipped boots that we have. I think we can switch them out if we want. I've seen a few of them. Hang on. Wait, we don't have any ladders. So I don't really know if we'll need them. I have a look. That's the wrong map. Okay. Probably not. Retrieve chiral printer interface from the mule post box. We'll do the crystal thing first. Oh god. Maybe I should take out these metals and stuff that I have. I don't necessarily need them. This is all I kind of need at this point. 
EX grenade. Since when did I have this? Huh. Alright, that's gotta put a lot off my load now. Wait, what did it say about fabrication? Unable to fact fabricate a chiral printer. Oh, that's right, the printer's gone. That's right. Now we're at 29 kilograms. Which is really good. Have a pleasant journey. Is the bike available? I don't remember. I think they said like Weapons a battery is gone. Yeah. done the chiral crystal thing. That was easy. I might as well collect more. There's a big one over there here. That's a big one. Oh god. That's some resin. Maybe I do need some ladders. But I honestly can't, well obviously I can't make any more, so it's all good though. Let's pick there that up. Go. And we can just run back. And bring those crystals in. That's the wrong thing. Wait, what am I meant to do? Oh, recycle. Delivery terminal and recycle. Okay, cool, cool. carry a hundred at a time. Cool. There we go. Like gold. Damn, son. That is a lot of crystals. 
Indeed. I've got more for you too. Got the required crystals. Didn't have to walk that far, honestly. Yeah, only 600 meters. That could have been a lot. Could have been better. Container re repair spray. Nice. You interview data about chiral symmetry and chirillium. Flame materials. Excess chiral crystals can be deposited at any facility. They'll be added to the stores held on site. These local stores include materials that you can draw upon to fabricate equipment as needed. Recycling weapons, equipment, or materials at a facility will increase the amount of materials available for use at the facility. These can then be used to fabricate any new weapons and equipment that you'd require. Okay. Sounds pretty good. Good work, Sam. It seems your connection level is increasing. As your connection level increases, larger quantities of resources will be made available to you at our facilities. Oh, that's good. We're at connection level 3 now. Increasing your connection level with a facility will allow you to allow for more materials to be stored there and will make more materials available for use. Additionally, new functionality may be pro proved provided by bridges and you may even receive a gift or two. Bridges Guard Macho. A new hologram gram data. Use this data to gain access to a level 2 or higher structure and, and select customized structure. Some of the facilities bandwidth has been shared with Sam. It's at 2720. More structures can now be built with the chiral network area. Max amount has been increased now. That's really good. We're almost at four stars already. Really good too. That delivery hold. Ooh, good leveling up there. Delivery volume. And the bridge link too is getting leveled up. Nice. Skilled handler. Continue to strive for greater recognition. With cheap delivery volume grade 10. You can now carry more cargo. Oh, that's really good. Oh, before I forget. This is for you. What is it? Oh, it's a repair spray. Patching up cargo containers. Good for dealing with time fall degradation and all that. Yep. Useful stuff if you and your cargo have been through the ringer. We've added it to your supplies list, so it's readily available if and when you need it. I'll take one. It's attached to the suit on the right hip. Okay. Be safe. Goodbye. Oh, there is a correlation between elevated corellium levels and increased crystal formation. This may well be the result of the network's expansion. You needn't worry though, local chiral density is still within an acceptable range. If you find any more, be sure to collect it. You'll be well rewarded. If you come into more chiral crystals, you can submit them at one of our facilities. And you can deposit other resources too, along with any items you don't need. Everything has its value. What we don't use as is, can be broken down into components for R&D and other applications. Okay. Oh, we've got new equipment. Oh, the container rep repair spray. Okay, cool. Um... Let's put in more of that chiral crystals in, since we have more. Thank you for your continued support. 
No worries. Nice. 470 now. Alright. Thank you for your contribution. Keep on keeping up. Begin the scan. Have a pleasant journey. Still got work to do, Sam. Yep. Let's not keep people waiting. I know that. We're going over there. We climb up. Might look like it. Hmm. Maybe we need to make make at least one. Oh, that's the bloody button. Um. Maybe what we should do is make at least one um, lighter. Decontaminating oh, we can't make it clear. actually. Never mind. Sam Porter Bridges. Never mind. Weapons restrictions lifted. Let's just mark that now. With some tracks. Call it a rule or a habit, but most mules almost always bring stolen shipments home with them. Find the post box, steal back the cargo. Simple as that. But be careful, these guys are armed. If this goes sideways, be ready to fight. Okay. Oh, we can tack. Just, just square button. Attack a mule repeatedly to knock them unconscious. Can we do it like a self kill? Where we choke them to death like in Metal Gear Solid? Looking strands. Yeah, I'm probably gonna end up needing to use the strand to get up this mountain. Kinda just wanna look at what we got going here. I can't move it left or right. I'm just going to rotate the map around. It's like... Okay, so there's this path over here that we could probably take. That looks promising. Ooh. There's some ladders. That people will probably put up. Looks like a bad. Indeed. And a good one at that. Oh, what's that there? Is that something we can get? Oh, we're close. Sandalweed. Oh, I haven't done this yet. Hang on. Let me do a piss. Hang on. Where should we piss? We should piss up here. Remember, Sam. Before you approach the mule drop site, we recommend you use a watchtower to confirm the location of the post box containing our cargo. Ooh. What's that? The mushroom just spawned. Okay. Oh, got a urinate. Piss in the sky. <laughs> I 
Okay, we've urinated as much as we can. Actually, no, we'll, we'll, we'll continue. It looks like we could probably change the trajectory of the urination. Okay, we're done. No point in urinating anymore. I can prepare for... <laughs> Alright. So we need to make a watchtower, eh? Even though there's one there, I might as well just make it here. Puts a little bit of a weight off. Oh, one for cargo scanner. Construction menu. Let's activate the terminal. Hang on, let's see what we can do here. Not much. I missed the tip for the, um... What's it called? The watchtower thing. Hang on. When infiltrating a meal camp, crouching will help reduce the sound of your footsteps. Holding your breath will make you even harder to detect. And spotted by mules, hide in tall grass or behind large objects can help you escape to escape detection when spotting by wolves. Okay. Let me find that watchtower. There it is. Watchtowers can search for chiral crystals, sand. And the way to mill post boxes. The areas the area they can cover is limited, so build one in a location from which all areas you wish to search can be scanned. We know the location of it now, so. Right there. Alright. Got an aid maker for that grass over there. Don't know what the best way is to get there, but I think I'll just walk here. Mule drop sites are rarely deserted, so remaining undetected is key. Keep a low profile and move slowly to minimize noise. Your boots. We see some medals. See some ladders over there. What's over that way? There's a ladder and medals there too. I don't think we'll really need. Oh, God. oh I see. Didn't realize. one nearby. Alright. He's slowly approaching my position. Oh, 
Oh, here he is. Dan Weedle's leaves can serve as a temporary footwear in emergency once you've acquired some use up on the D-pad. Oh. Probably better just to wear. Special by Porters is an emergency replacement for boots. Sand wheels are not very durable but can save you in a pinch when walking in these footsteps are almost inaudible to others and can be helpful in sneaking situations. Yeah, that's probably gonna be something useful, but man. Oh god. He's right there. got the boots on him. Those mule boots might be fine. Can we place a marker on the enemy? It probably won't like mark him at all. Hmm. walking back it seems. Alright, let's quickly move. Oh. And we made it. What's that noise? taken. I would assume that's it's uh yeah the pr the Prino.
There's some parts here too that we can probably take as well. It's a special device. We could take these, but like these are going to be very heavy. all the way back down. Back down the mountain with this cargo on our backs. Anything in the cave? I wonder. Sure. Might as well check it out. I don't want to get seen by that guy though. Or well, that guy that was right in front of the post box moved. Well. that up there? Memory ship. Ah. Sam, if you stumble across any memory chips on the road, be sure to submit them via the nearest terminal. There's no telling what kind of rare and valuable data they might contain. You're sure to make someone very, very happy with your contribution. <clears throat> just in case we need it for later. And we're out. Oh. Singularity. No reason you were not to take off, but it didn't. 
people didn't like it when we took the human element out of the service industry. So, after some consideration, we put it back in. Made jobs no one oh could be in the folks who couldn't live without them. And from there, it snowballed. Now we got cults of cargo chasing crazies who get off on hijacking shipments. Jackal's always on the lookout for the next order. Make sure you're not him. Alright, we got everything we got. And now we must head back. What a journey. Forty minutes. <laughs> wow. I was expecting more meals there, but I guess not. I guess that cargo was not that important. I could have actually got more than that I needed there. There we go. The delivery. Let's let's give this um yeah, the memory chip. Whatever this is gonna be. Ooh. Memory chip data restored. The following data can now be viewed via your cufflinks. Seven seven Rai. What the Thank you for your contribution? Oh. Interesting. Oh, there's gonna be some Easter eggs here. Definitely. All right, let's deliver this lost cargo to, and then deliver the required cargo. That print off, that is. Back, are you? Yep. You're trying to put the rest of us to shame. <laughs> Fine by me. <laughs> Got a little bit of a damage, unfortunately, but that's fine. Getting a get a lot miscellaneous level up, which is fine. See you around. Good work. Here we go. Here's the requested cargo. Took two percent damage. Fine by them. How much of a walk was that? Oh, we did have to go around, yeah. Get that chiral oh, crystals. Thousand two hundred and thirty five meters. S rank. Ooh. Sam. Got some big bits. How are your shoes holding up? Not too well, I imagine. Yep. Conditions being what they are out there. Nothing ruins your day like shoes falling apart while you're on the job. <laughs> Carry on like that and it's only a matter of time before you injure yourself. I've arranged for boots to be added to your supplies. Ooh. Bridges standard issue, so they ought to fit you fine. You should always carry an extra pair. But Indeed. if you forget or run into trouble, 
You can fabricate another via a terminal at one of our many facilities. Okay. New NFP data. Necrosis and the ancient Egyptian view of life and death. What the hell? What's this doing in this video game? <laughs> Three years ago, distribution center west of Capital North and the Chiral Network one. Oh, we can actually make a bridge. <laughs> okay. Chiral crystals can now be used at an all UCA affiliated facilities. The amount of materials that can be used at the distribution center west of Capital City has increased. Okay, cool. Slowly getting to um, full star connection. Is that miscellaneous? I haven't gotten anything on delivery time. Which is a bit strange. See you around. We keep getting S ranks. Congratulations, Sam. I understand you now have access to a Chiron printer. Yeah. An extraordinarily useful device that can only function because of the manner in which our network utilizes the beach, enabling us to transfer massive volumes of data instantaneously. Since, under normal circumstances, such transfers would take hours, if not days, I know. some have speculated that the chiral network might, in essence, be a time machine. That mm -hmm. it is transmitting data into the past. Suffice it to say, we have yet to fully grasp the fundamental nature of the network and the beach which we have come to rely on. One might liken our relationship with it to that of primitive man's with fire. Is it useful? Quite. Is it dangerous? Undeniably so. Nevertheless, we have decided that the reward outweighs the risk. Yeah. Furthermore, as the BTs are linked to the beach, it stands to reason that further study and experimentation could be of considerable benefit. The same could be said regarding you, of course. <laughs> Rest assured, I will keep you apprised of what I learn. You have my word. Good work. New order available. Do all these access delivery terminal for further information. Okay. We've added a bridge schematic to your PCC. The first step is laying the foundation, after which you'll have to supply additional materials to finish the job. Plenty of rivers and canyons could do with a good bridge, you know. Yep. Take a stroll across one you built yourself, and I guarantee you'll be glad you made the effort. Give it a try. Well, I have plenty of PCCs, so... I'm gonna make bridge bo bridges boots now. Sam. I haven't you can use share lockers to exchange cargo with other porters. Donate weapons and equipment and claim cargo. Oh. I can just take lost cargo that pe other people have. Interesting. Or I can send some their way too. Alright, let's take some orders here. We can make the bridge. And now, now we can go to the wind farm. Okay, cool. Except both orders. Um, we we'll probably need two ladders, a ladder or two. Climbing anchor, we should be fine, and the PCC, we should be fine as well. by hand. Power supply unit. Oh, this is what we take into the wind farm. That's fine. And the metal. Let's carry the, the ladder on the tool rack. Holy crap, we've got a lot on ourselves. So we are getting rid of a PCC. God damn, that's a lot of stuff on us. Yep. 
God damn. Order assigned. I have to hold this weight as much as I can. Begin scan. Have a pleasant journey. Okay, Sam. Make your way to the designated construction area for the bridge. The foundation should already be in place. With your help, we'll have the thing finished in no time. There should be a terminal nearby. Access it to submit additional materials. Okay, okay, okay. Weapons restrictions lifted. Here we go. This is the bridge, right? Those metals, that's a lot of metals, though. So. Now it's gonna build it itself. Pretty cool. Building bridges. That's cool. Didn't have to travel that far. S rank. Old phony and miscellaneous now. Bravo, Sam. That bridge should make life easier for a lot of people. You can be sure that every traveler and porter who passes that way will put it to good use. Yep. Keep an eye out for other spots that could do with another well-placed bridge. Yeah, the bridges are definitely going to be better than ladders, using ladders to cross rivers, so... Alright, so we've got this destination, which is the wind farm up ahead. Looks like we have to climb a, a good bit. 900 meters away. Oh, grip, grip. Please. Oh, something got damaged there. Oh, shit, it's raining. So it starts raining at least. Poor male. How's BB doing, Sam? I hope you've managed to avoid autotoxema already. Together. By the way, I've been wondering how how are your porter grades these days? Getting better and better, I imagine. Or maybe you don't really care about that stuff. Well, in the case, yes, you do. I thought it might give you a quick primer, since I know it can be confusing. Bridges have developed a unique system to evaluate porter performance and focus on five categories: cargo condition, delivery volume, speed, bridge length, and miscellaneous. Obviously, the aim of the game is to get higher higher grades in all five categories. If you ask me, though, you should pr prioritize cargo condition. I mean, what's the point of luggage lugging something halfway across the con continent if it is smashed to bits in the process? Sure, well, some people aren't all that bothered. Some will even let you get away with up to 50% damage or so, but come on, imagine if you're ordered a dozen thingamajigs and half of them are were delivered broken. Now, it's definitely better to put the condition first. Treat your cargo with care and respect, and you'll be rewarded with way more likes. Trust me. That was my motto back when I was a porter. It wasn't always easy, and as you can imagine, some things got dicey. But I've learned to hang in there and deliver my cargo in one piece. You'll do well to bear in that in mind. Damn. After all, you've got the potential to be a very, be a very better porter than I ever was. Ah, oh, cool. All 
All right. Well, since it starts to rain, I think I want to change my boots around. If we need, if we need to. Or we could possibly find... Ooh. Oh, so BTs are out. This could be a, a game of shifting the weight from left to right, but we can pretty much hold it together with the triggers, so... How much urine, urine do we have? 16 mils. Okay. It's not really a lot, but... Oh well. I don't really like the rain that much. Since it pretty much damages our, our cargo, but it doesn't really seem to deal too much damage to the point where it's like makes the cargo worthless, which is a good thing. There's a ladder all the way there. Yeah. Babies don't find anything. Oh god, oh god, oh god. That was a little bit dangerous. Might as well carry some lost cargo on the way here. Doesn't really hurt too much. At least I don't think it would. Some more lost cargo. Oh god, look, grip, grip, grip. Far oh, out. Yeah, it looks like there's some BTs at the the area of where we're going, the wind farm. Strong winds will make movement trickier and will also deplete stamina more quickly. The headwind will with slow movement while the tailwind will speed you along slightly. These effects can be reduced by arranging cargo so that it offers less wind resistance. Preparing cargo containers. Oh god. Thank god for this. that lost cargo. Cargo has been entrusted by another player. It goes more of the miscellaneous. And now our weight is all the way back down. Thank God.
Alright, too far for Quago. Prison 40. What do you mean by that? Oh crap. Man, this wind is strong. So that power supply unit's basically our main thing. Yeah, I don't, I'm not too sure exactly how we can make it so... So how we can like, kind of shift our movement on the wind. Oh my god, this wind's so strong. Forest now. Man. Very strong wind. Have to be really careful though. We're 400 meters away. We, we pretty much have to keep moving down as quickly as we can. Oh god, oh god. Far out. Alright, we're going to use our strand. Oh, not the strand, the, um, the climbing anchor. My bad. No! Oh god! Jesus. Oops, accidentally pressed. Baby looks happy. Someone's happy. Holy crap. I can't believe I fell off that. I'm surprised I survived that. Move cargo attach from suit. Oh, fuck. This strong wind is definitely going to kill me here. Start throwing these weather conditions. What's going on? What the hell? Oh no. seem like ooh, we're catching something here. Come on. Right.
Go, go. Hold the breath. Hold the breath. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Check it off, check it off, check it off. It's so hard to find silk. Hold it. Hold it. Oh my god. It was right in front of me too. Basically right behind me. Beginning scan. <laughs> Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. <laughs> Clear. All weapons will remain locked until the party. Bring it easy, Sam. You're clear of BG territory. The death strandings to blame for all of this. The gazers, the fall of America, everything. It warped the world beyond recognition. Humanity had to scramble like rats fleeing us. Oh my god. But there's nowhere else to go. There's no future living like this. If we're to survive, we need to find another way. Jesus. Way, a way to overcome the BTs, the death stranding, the whole damn mess. Hang on. Let me check my cargo to see how it is. How's the supply unit going? Oh, we have to fix that right up. Cargo container fully restored. It all good now. Taking a lot of damage. All right. That's stressful. <laughs> that is very stressful. Delivering 
securing cargo. Thank you. With this unit, we should be able to power the distro center via the chiral network. Other places, too, if it works. Here's hoping the UCA can put our electricity to good use. Mind if I have a look? Great. Everything's in order. I appreciate it. Stars in the connection level. All we need now is a connection to the chiral network. Go for it. There we go. Network bandwidth is a limited resource, and every structure you build consumes it. However, as you increase your connection level, the bandwidth available to you will increase as well. Okay. Building structures will take up chiral bandwidth. Chiral bandwidth can be increased by raising connection with the client clients in each area. A strand establish. Nice. Wind farm joined the UCA. New interviews we've got. Wind Farm has shared data as a result of joining UCA. We build generators now. Features have been added to your cufflinks, supply requests, bridge links. New options have been added from to delivery terminals, take on orders, standard orders, make delivery, delivery, deliver requested supplies, and trust cargo, and then garage. That the garage feature truck can only be used at not cities and distribution centers. Okay. This area is connected is now connected to the chiral network, enabling you to see and access other players' structures. There we go. About time we did our part. Thanks again. You know, I Big heard wind. the rest of your team was wiped out. Makes what you're doing all the more incredible. You're a one man expedition. I hope Amelie's doing as well as you. Wonder if she made it to Edge Not City yet. It was her that put us in charge of the wind farm. I was with the group bringing up the rear while Amelie led the way. I never met her in person, but it was an honor to travel with her all the same. When you see her, feel free to tell her I said so, huh? Sam, got a moment? I ran an experiment with your blood. It seems you were onto something. After dispersing an aerosolized sample of your blood in BT territory, we observed reduced activity. While this is hardly definitive as we have no other repatriates to whom we can turn for additional testing, it does suggest that the bodily fluids of repatriates are repellent to BTs. Mama had the idea of developing a weapon to test this theory. The prototype should be ready soon, and when it is, we'd like you to test it. Sam, this is the perfect opportunity. We've almost got the whole region on the Cairo network. All that's left is Port Knot City. Return to Capital Knot City so you can pick up relief supplies for Port Knot. By the time you arrive, we can give you the completed prototype in person. One other thing. It's not very often porters get out to that wind farm. While you're there, you should pick up any outstanding orders. No sense coming all the way back here empty-handed if there's work to be done. Have a look at that delivery terminal. Good work. New oh. order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. 
got an email. Nick Easton. Damn, how are you doing out there for a newbie? You're quite... For a newbie, you're quite the, the whole... The whole... The workhorse, huh? Time falls probably take, taking its toll on your equipment, am I right? Maybe some of your kit... It's not even usable anymore. Well, don't jump the gun and throw that stuff away just yet. One thing you can do is take your old equipment into deli your delivery terminal and recycle it. And you can fabricate yourself a shiny new whatever to use instead. Don't know if you're aware, but the whole recycling system is operated by the Bridget Grand Foundation. That's right, the president herself set it up as a means to convert busted tools and gear back into useful usable resources. On the other hand, equipment's only halfway to broke, but you still want to part ways. You can use a share locker to donate it to another porter who needs it, whose need is greater than yours. You may well end up getting a like or two for your generosity. Never mind a warm fuzzy feeling of ha having helped a fellow man. Of course, the system works both ways, meaning that you can snag stuff of a bag stuff other porters have put in share lockers too. You're the one who could do with a helping hand. With a helping hand. Anyway, both the recycling system and the share lockers have their uses and it's up to you to pick which method best suits you your needs at any given moment. You've got a lot to learn, I guess. But you'll but you'll have it all figured out out in no time. We've got high hopes for you, kid. Thank you. Hey, great work. That wind farm you've brought into the network is essential for our continued expansion. By way of reward, I've added a little something to your PCC. A generator option. Generators recharge the batteries of all nearby devices. Okay. That includes machines, bikes, and other battery-powered vehicles. That's pretty cool. Congrats, Sam. You're cleared to take on open orders. While they're not as high priority as the ones specifically assigned to you, if you're already heading a certain way and you have room to spare, it couldn't hurt to do a little more, right? Just because they're not mission critical doesn't mean they're not important to someone. So why not do a good deed or two? Okay. Sam, I'll look at these first and then double check for that will end the session. Delivery, delivering materials to increase facility stores. Completing delivery of materials to a given facility will increase the amount of available at the facility for the construction of weapons and equipment and for other functions. There is a limit for the amount of materials that a given facility can store. Use the bumpers in order to, in the orders menu, to switch between tabs and check items. And to check the items to be delivered. And we need some metals. It seems. And then delivery power supply inspection tools. Okay. Resins delivery distribution center west of capital, not city. Okay. By handing over excess materials to a facility, you can increase the amount stored on site. Now these materials can then be used later for equipment fabrication and so forth. Just remember that each facility has separate stores and that the amount on hand differs from site to site. Don't get carried away. Okay. Alright, so that's... I think that's gonna be it. Don't... Can I save? Yeah, I can save in this here. So... Oh, supply requests and bridge links. Okay. So that will be it for this session of Jeff Stranding. Hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys later.